over on the site. Uh, but I think even more so, we need to touch on, because I don't think we have until the uh, since the very first um, announcements, but the Hall of Fame, the WWE Hall of Fame, is really starting to uh, flesh out at this point, I guess you could say. Uh, so I, I think it's time to kind of address this. First of all, um, uh, looking at the lineup, the, 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 the most recent announcement uh, yesterday, uh, near and dear to my heart, uh, I'm from this area. You guys, Max, uh, we, we were talking about you got your guys are from this era too. Uh, Eamon, probably not. Uh, <laughs> For a second, I thought you said from this area, and I had no idea that you lived in Cobb County. <laughs> <laughs> the era, as you guys referred to, the superstar era on, on the Indie Mayhem show. Um, uh, the big boss man is, is to be inducted in the uh, WWE Hall of Fame. That's awesome. Presented by Mattel? What? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, but no, that's great. He... Uh, you know, uh, forget his Ray trailer, forget him, him pulling big shows, uh, dead daddy in, in a casket. Um, <laughs> don't, hopefully don't, don't forget that. Don't forget, yeah. that. Never like, forget that. Never forget. Never forget. Uh, boy. Uh, but other than that, no, I think he's one of the, the, uh, uh, uh prominent guy of the era. Uh, you know, namely that late eighties, early nineties era. Um, for me, a wrestling buddy. He had a wrestling buddy. He, he was did. big enough to have a wrestling yeah. buddy. That's Hall of Fame material right there, if you ask me. Yeah. I th- yeah, there shouldn't be anybody with a wrestling buddy that isn't in the Hall of Fame, and I Agreed. think he might have been the last one. I think you're of, right. Of yeah. that first set, yep. right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so there you go. The the wrestle buddy role is in full effect. I'm not talking about those bullshit WCW wrestling buddies either. Or the Brodus Clay one. Or the Brodus Clay one, or these <laughs> new ones. No, those don't count. Maybe in like 20 years we can have that role as well. Uh, but no, I think I think Big Boss Man definitely, definitely belongs in there. What do you guys think? Well, again, as we talked about on the indie show, uh, I used to mark out to the Big Boss Man, especially in the 91 era when he turned face. And I'm not going to spread any rumors here or speak ill of the dead, but it was kind of weird that Big Boss Man, during the face run, magically lost probably about 60 or 70 pounds and every match featured him sweating profusely and with completely round <laughs> eyeballs i'm not saying he was on any performance enhancing substances but let's just say uh big boss man might have not have been following the protocol of being a law enforcement <laughs> officer and may have been partaking in something that we know in the industry as the booger sugar <laughs> i always hit that evidence you know, room pretty quick you know you know that's you know, and I remember that. I remember that. I yes, remember that. He got skinny and, and he sweated all the time. I remember the sweat and the intensity. Yes. And that was an aspect I liked about him I as did a character. Too. <laughs> Little did I know that this is just my just me loving things inspired by cocaine. It was just like <laughs> Big Boss Man and Sylvester Stallone movies. Of the WWF wrestlers back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah, I just it's that intensity and this he's yeah. like, he's just into it. Nope. Okay, nope. that means one of us has to cut a big boss man promo right now. Any any <laughs> takers? Any t- fine. I want me to do it. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> All right. I, I, I mean, you seem gay. You seem All gay. right, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll I'll put the mic over here since it will involve a lot of screaming. Uh, I'll get you over here. I'll get you over here. Okay. Good. Nails, you listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> you come over to Cobb County, Georgia. I have a history with you. I don't know. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to yell nails at the top of my lungs. I thought you were going going to go off into the uh, the time you read that poem about Big Joe's dad, which is one of my favorite promos of all time. <laughs> and that's my thinking. daddy, my daddy, wah, wah, my daddy. <laughs> now, now, uh, first of all, my my favorite moment is the SummerSlam with the Mountie. Oh, yeah. I mean, where, where uh, was uh, uh, the loser spends the night in the New York jail. That's right. And they kept going on about how horrible the New York City jail is. Right. <laughs> That's where Mount, the Mountie whipped, whipped the camera off, too. What's that? The Mountie whipped the camera off, too. Yeah, he did. He did. I, yeah. I, just, I, remember He's, how... I got a finger for you. <laughs> <laughs> It's a uh, that, that that that's kind of my but I think I think it's also um I think it's also important to remember he's a guy that did come back in the attitude era. Yeah. How many people came back in the attitude era from that previous era that made I want to say the impact. I mean he was a lackey or whatever, right? But But he was there for a while with hey, a big yeah. focal point, four-time hardcore champion. 
That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Right. I mean, he never had a belt when he was there before. That's correct. As as the Twin Towers, as as the yeah. other thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, re- I mean, really, and and, and to see him come out. He even had a tight. Do you even have like a TV title or anything in WCW? Is Ray Trailer? Or bu- probably what? not. Uh, like if you, I think he's a guy who goes goes in through his career is very underappreciated. Like he mm-hmm. he was a very solid you know performer in the ring. I I'm a, I'm a, obviously like you said I wasn't watching during that era or, or any of the eras when he was wrestling. But I'm a I'm a late Big Boss Man fan because I I really do enjoy his work. Like he was he was always very expressive yes. in the ring. Mm-hmm. I, my favorite thing would, would when he would just like scream like during moves and stuff like that, or, yep. or like let out a yell when he was like taking a bump or something. Like he was very good at in like making you care about the in in ring work through little things. And then yeah, I, I'm, I think he's a really good addition to the whole thing. It's great. He, he gave hope to pear shaped kids like myself <laughs> 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 that I one day could. No, well, no, probably not. But um, yeah. Uh, he was, he was, as a kid, he was always one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, my friend had his action figure. I was so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> had the nightstick. I didn't have him, but yeah. Had, had the nightstick that every kid lost. Yes. I mean, <laughs> Let's be honest about it. Yeah. So, uh, other than that, I mean, a lot of other news around the Hall of Fame. Um, you know, of course, uh, the Freebirds finally came in. So, if you're yeah. uh, Mad Mike, I know you know. Uh, but if you've li- watched a lot of the Legends Roundtable on um, WWE Network or previously on on, on, on WWE On Demand or 24 um, seven, the running gag is about when is is Michael Hayes going to get in the <laughs> Hall of Fame? And maybe I thought it was just going to be a rib on him this whole time. But finally, the Freebirds made it. I don't know any of the other Freebirds, but at least Michael yeah. P.S. Hayes is making it in right. to the Hall of Fame, Hendrix. baby. I, wish it, I was going to say, I wish they would have done like a 1999 theme, and, and they're just inducting him for that time that he managed the Hardy Boys. <laughs> 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 also appreciative. Uh, Ella, do you have any, any thoughts on on a uh, boss man or 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 the free birds going in? Yeah. So as soon as you guys started talking about big boss man skinny, I just went on a deep dive. <laughs> look at all the all the wrestlers who went on huge huge skinny binges, <laughs> and I'm checking out these the blue meanie skinny. No. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That is a thing of beauty. <laughs> That, that, I got that. Yeah, it was amazing, man. Like, I, I could I couldn't find a single big boss man skinny pick though, man. I'm still looking. It's kind of relative looking. skinny. Like he went from being relative really big skinny. to like it's a little smaller, but still big. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's <laughs> but still. Um, I don't know where to go from that. I mean, I just got caught. Sorry, sorry. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just had a moment because I just found uh, uh, him and. Him and uh, Hogan in, a, in the big blue steel cage oh, on yeah. Saturday night's main event That's over right. here. So I'm kind of excited to watch this a little later. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just want to go on that binge. Oh. Has anybody just like, I, I, and this is, I, I, I think I mentioned this a few weeks ago, has anybody just like looked up a wrestler they want to check out and like say Chris Jericho or something? Like, like, let's just watch old Chris Jericho ECW matches, not in e- the show ECW. Just like, let's go watch him and Dean Malenko, him and, him and, him and, uh, Eddie Guerrero, like that stuff. Like, like, I, I feel like I'm about to go on a deep dive of big boss band matches here as I'm editing the show tonight at this point. Yeah. Um, because you can, and I think that's, that's pretty amazing. But you could go on a virtual uh, playlist. <laughs> It'd just guys. be kind of short, I think. You, uh, you'd have SummerSlam '91 against DiBiase, and then when he got his nose broken, uh, I can't really remember any of the other. Like, if we're just talking about him as a singles performer, not as you know valet. I think I think you're gonna get. I think I think you're gonna be surprised. I'm I'm actually gonna plug in here, and this is the nice thing. This is a beautiful thing. Like we have the Google of pro wrestling here in the uh, in the WWE network. I search for Virgil. Ooh. I'm waiting. Oh, <laughs> there we go. There we go. We have some stuff. Wow, this is him as a heel in here. Uh, hold on a second. We got uh, Hercules full Nelson's Virgil. Virgil oh, submits. Nice. Aww. Virgil hit, uh, Razor Ramon hits Virgil with the Razor's Edge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Her- Hercules versus Virgil. Hercules versus Hercules Million Dollar Man. Virgil. Ted DiBiase with, with Virgil. There's a lot of with Virgil going on here. Yeah. Ultimore wins when uh, Virgil interferes. You're seeing a theme here, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Diesel versus Virgil. Jeff Jarrett versus Diesel Virgil. Diesel versus Virgil. <laughs> oh, man. Raw. Five second match. Dusty and Dustin versus Virgil and DiBiase. I was starting to watch that. I'm amazed 
uh, I, I, Goldust is in a way better shape than he had ever been in his life, even when yeah. he was young. Yeah, it's astonishing. It is. Uh, let's see. If, if you want, if you want a good Virgil match, well, technically Virgil match uh, that ties into our Big Boss Man talk. Uh, I think it's Starcade '97 has a a six man tag where it's Virgil on one side, the other side is the Steiner Brothers and uh, Big Brother Rogers, wow. and Virgil gets demolished. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of humanity in the ring. Oh, wait, well, here's the other question: Is do I have to actually uh uh type uh yeah Vincent? You have to type in Vincent. Yeah, yeah, Vincent. 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 This yeah, is the fun uh, part. Um, so. Buff Bagwell with Scott Norton versus Vincent, Vincent and Booker T. Oh, okay, God. Luger and Norton with Buff Bagwell versus and Vin, Vincent uh, Norton again with Vincent. There you yeah. go. This is this is the big one. Uh, Norton, Horace, Horace Hogan, oh and Vincent God. versus oh, Harlem wow. Heat. What? Mm. Vincent gives Horace a small package to win. He mm. wins on Nitro, oh, that's guys. Awesome. He wins. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh geez, uh, this is this is the kind of Ernest the Cat Miller versus Vincent. Man, yeah. that's great booking yeah. right there. Uh, right there. <laughs> <laughs> Why there did that go. place go defunct? I don't. Vincent I don't versus understand. Stevie Ray. Did he have this like hot feud against Harlem Heat? What's going on? Here? God. Oh geez, Conan gives Vincent Tequila Sunrise to win. This Why like, are we not watching that right now? <laughs> uh, this will be the filthy. I think I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, yeah. you guys carry on to the show. I got some stuff to do over here. Um, and, and again, Freebirds, you can dump it if you're if you're not somebody that grew up with the Freebirds or anything. Um, um, you can definitely dump in and, and, and see a bunch of that too. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that, find that one WCW show I watch where they paint Confederate flags over their faces. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, man, it was a different time. <laughs> um, have you guys watched the uh, the most recent uh, Edge and Christian episodes, which, which are getting better, by the way? I think the last two, I think they're hitting their stride for this. And, nah, and if more. you're into if you're into the humor <laughs> and not Eamon, because Eamon's not going to be into this '90s era humor like we oh, are. No, it's not even the fact that it's '90s. It's the fact that there's no actual jokes. Yeah, so I, I, it's not I the greatest know, thing. No. It's definitely not the greatest thing. But I don't think it's meant to be the greatest thing. No, it's, 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 listen, I like I remember the MTV stuff where stuff was just stupid to be stupid in the '90s, and I think that's what they're they're aiming for. They're aiming for Beavis and Butthead humor here. Yeah, I think. I mean, right. really, it is. And if yeah. you hearken back to those days, sorry, Eamon, I think I think like you know uh, the so the rest of us will will, will kind of get into that as it goes here. And it's not right. like you're putting much effort into watching it. I don't think it's like oh, it's Monday. Got to watch the latest Edge and Christian. No, it's kind of like, I got nothing else to watch. Let's go watch the latest Edge and Christian. That was a okay use of a half an hour. Um, but no, but like, like stuff, like the references they're making, like we talked about last week, the Sunny um, lotion. Oh, yeah. That, that was... they, they just, just <laughs> dropped a crazy ass Sunny reference. Um, <laughs> or this week it was about the Mr. Fuji salt. Oh, nice. Um, it yeah. was like yes, it's racist. Yes, it's racist, but it was the seventies, and we didn't know any better. Right. It's like, yeah. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like weird things like that, yeah. or or the stuff that getting away on uh, on that show with on that show is 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 pretty fantastic. They, they talk a little bit about what's going into it on the uh, talk is Jericho with uh, Edge and Christian. Uh, from, I will say I slightly week. like the video that you shared with us about them and Stardust going to like an oh. elementary school and showing them all WWF jobbers. You have to watch it if n- the last episode four, if nothing else, for the thread with Stardust because there's a payoff. I, 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 I love Stardust. <laughs> there's there's an, a special appearance of Stardust at the end there that I don't want to spoil, but Eamon especially just go. I want Eamon. I, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to that episode four. Okay. You got me. Are you following me here? Sure. Okay. I want you to go start with that segment that you saw with Stardust. Cause that's when he comes in the episode and just watch until you see not Stardust. Okay. You'll know what I mean when you see it. Harkin, Amen. Harkin. 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 Did you happen to see the uh, end of Raw or well, the, the after stuff they did on la- Raw last night? Yes. Yes. Stardust. Mark Henry, the pizza and Stardust is amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I felt so bad for Stardust. Even his own brother. <laughs> like he just wanted pizza. <laughs> and it wasn't even it wasn't even real pizza. It was deep dish pizza. <laughs> oh, oh there's no way from Chicago in the crowd. Um anyways, back to the Hall of Fame. So Freebirds, of course, Godfather. Yeah. I really wish I hope 
I hope when they do the retrospective, we do get the rest of his gimmicks. Right. Papa Shango. Papa, I, I, I hope yeah. so, but they, had, they didn't. I remember they didn't do that last year with Rikishi. Right. So I, okay. Yeah, it was just Rikishi. But I, I don't think Rikishi had another gimmick that was as significant. I head shrinkers. I feel like Papa Shango. Yeah. Is worth was, bringing up. And we're not going to talk about Kama. I'm guessing. I never understood no. Kama because it was no. just like I don't know if this is a topic that's been broached before, but like. Was the idea with Kama that he was like an MMA fighter? So it was like, you know, you're watching it's like what, wrestling. It's like what they thought MMA was. And like, right. He was, and they're like, this is a real fighter. Right. You, you know, we have a bunch of wrestlers, but Kama's an actual real fighting machine. Everybody else is just a gimmick. I mean, this guy's real. It's like, what the hell are you suggesting there? <laughs> I, I, came up I with made it. a sign when I went to John's Tom, uh, house show. Oh, yeah. uh, it said Kama, the supreme punctuation mark. <laughs> <laughs> And then on the other side, it said, double hey, don't do that for Jeff Jarrett. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. Actually, Straight out of 96. That comma, comma had that Damn. hairdo, though. Look at yeah. that. I mean, why why is this not being referenced in the Hall of Fame? No kidding. Yeah. Good onesie just... to hair to traps ratio there. I mean, that's the, that's the golden ratio. <laughs> I will say the one thing about Godfather being inducted. Uh, it, I don't know because they aren't showing them on Raw anymore. But like the, they'll post online like the kind of like retrospective videos to like say so and so is going to Hall of Fame. Uh, the Godfather one does a really interesting job of dancing around certain parts of the Godfather. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of lot of lack of the uh, of the marijuana uh, use. Oh, um, I forgot about how heavy that was for that. Uh, yeah. Suddenly, the, his catchphrase is no longer about rolling a fatty for this pimp daddy. It's just. <laughs> It's just <laughs> they just dub over stay in school kids right <laughs> and, and, and i think it was like i can't i think they were interviewing like daniel bryan about it or something and he's like i remember i would watch him and he would come out with all these women <laughs> and who wouldn't want to be around tons of women not to mention that he sold these women <laughs> as property was, was the finisher called the hoe train it was called the hotel. Doesn't him just like twirling his arms around and running yeah, into the corner? Exactly. <laughs> it was like that episode of The Simpsons where they charged at each other and they were punching the air. Yeah. I love if they were just going to revisionize like the whole thing. It's like, he, his finisher, the locomotive. <laughs> the professional woman locomotive. <laughs> Hey, hey, happy, happy uh, uh, National Women's Day, yes. guys. <laughs> <laughs> you see Deadpool. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Um, well, okay. Uh, Hall of Fame, of course, Sting's going to be in there as well. Um, I, I think it's, I think it's the lineup so far that, that we're aware of. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there'll be somebody Japanese or Texan that we we're not terribly aware of involved the in Japanese the they leak, they leak uh, the other ones, but I won't. So well, I, well, I think it's interesting because Boston wasn't in the movie uh, list. No, so you never know. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll see. I don't want to get into that. No, no, no spoilers. We're not Meltzer yeah, no here. Spoiler. We're not Meltzer <laughs> here. Um, but uh, so there was some interesting uh, other uh, Hall of Fame news I want to touch on in this segment. Uh, so apparently they are planning to build the Hall of Fame, the actual physical Hall of Fame in Orlando, Florida, in advance of the now confirmed WrestleMania in Orlando hmm. next year in 2017. Mean, awesome. So mean now WrestleMania and Mario Sunshine. <laughs> yeah, that, that logo. That's what it looks like. That logo, holy crap. Um but I think that's awesome. Now when you go to Orlando, other than going to full sale to watch uh, NXT, which who knows how long that's gonna be, or stocking people at the performance center, um now you'll actually <laughs> have a place to go. And we know how that ends. Uh that one guy that got shot. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but no. That'd be like, Do you think Skinner's going to be down there? What? Do you think Skinner's going to be down there at the Hall of Fame all the time? Just, I'm I, trying to think of guys build from Florida. <laughs> well, yeah, he's not even involved in the training anymore, right? That's right. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, he used to be. But, um, but I, I don't, yeah, because he was, he was kind of the head guy, I think, for uh, Florida Championship Wrestling before it came in, became uh, NXT. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I, I, I think that's that's worthwhile. I don't think I want to visit it WrestleMania weekend. Uh, but uh, certainly like, you know, 
I it just I, I think it'd be nice to like take a trip down, check a check a few days of uh, NXT tapings, and and roll down to the Hall of Fame. And it's it's kind of like another uh, Orlando's becoming this other kind of wrestling, not in Mecca or anything, but a destination still. Mm-hmm. Um, as you know, like New York has been for us for so many years with Madison Square Garden. I think that's kind of cool. I heard it's supposed to be like a restaurant too. Oh no, we know how that goes. Yeah. We know how yeah. that works out <laughs> yeah. for them. So, so we're gonna be in New York, Florida. Has anybody, um, am I the only one that visited um, WWE Niagara Falls? Oh, I've been there. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. I, mean, well, I didn't know. What is that? I didn't know there was a thing. It's it, called Pile Driver, right? Well, okay. Or something? So it was sort of in the style of the WWE New York, but it was more or less just like a, a, a physical WWE shop, right? Yeah. Like you go in and they had a big screen and whatever the latest video game was, was set up. Right. Um, and I think it, like you went upstairs and it was like nothing. Like it was like an yeah. event space or something that just there was never anything there right. when I went. But then on the roof, on the roof, because this is along that line that 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 one hill, Clifton Hill, I think, yeah, right up in New, right. Uh, Niagara Falls, where all the haunted houses and the Ripley's, believe it or not, and everything is all the really tourist oh, trappy yeah. stuff yeah. is. So they had not a roller coaster, but like a. It the, was like an elevator, thing, like a pitfall, right? like a like it, a Tower it, of Doom, or they called way, it the pile driver. They right? called it the pile driver, yeah. and it was it was just a ride that like like you know shot you up and dropped you, yep. and that was basically it. But it was on top of a building, and you could see Niagara Falls like you know, like a few blocks <laughs> over, basically. Right. Uh, so and and it, it's been closed for several years now. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say is that is that where Shane's been like uh, <laughs> having a stunt show, jumping off the falls every night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, like, like I just want to do a thing where, where it's just like things Shane has been doing in the last seven years. Right. So. I love the idea of you, uh, if him winning at Mania like to take over all. He just uses it to create like WWE China, and he's like, "That's what I've been working on since I've left." <laughs> exactly. Um, any other thoughts on the Hall of Fame uh, so far, or the physical one before we we uh, move on here, guys? I do have to say that the theme entrances for these particular inductees are definitely hall of fame level we got some great jams yeah. coming from these particular wrestlers i'm impressed we got bad street we got Cobb county oh, bad we got, street. yeah yeah atlanta ga buddy i mean that's that's unfortunately, cool. unfortunately we'll probably get the rip off wwe's uh sting thing yeah, you're but right. hey you have you guys ever seen michael psa's albums by the way I'm sure. Don't let the children pray in school. Or let the children pray in school. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm that? talking about. No. Yeah. yeah. What, what? Enlighten us, Bobby. Go uh, for he, it, buddy. He he uh, created a album, and one of the songs in the album is uh, "Let the Children Pray in School." If you haven't found it, YouTube it. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't there a song where he like visits Bam Bam Gordy's grave? Too? Yeah. Yeah, that's another one. Wow. Yeah. Are these in the list of covers that your <laughs> band might do? If we're playing in Bad Street, Atlanta, GA, we're definitely going to play those songs. <laughs> Elliot, learn, learn the lyrics right now, man. Learn the lyrics. All right, I'm on it. I'm Googling it. <laughs> Why can't the children pray in school? Okay. Yeah. Jeez. All right. Well, let us know your thoughts. Uh, WBF Hall of Fame. WBE Hall of Fame. Jeez. Um and uh, on Twitter, and, and if you're on the video for this, uh, let us know your thoughts so far. And, and, and will you be visiting? Will you be visiting the physical Hall of Fame in Orlando, whether WrestleMania weekend or just, you know, while you're passing through uh, uh, Gator Country? Uh, so, hey, I want to give a shout out to our friends over at Slice on Broadway down here in Pittsburgh. You know, a lot, a lot, a lot of you on the show right now are in Pittsburgh, even. Uh, but hey, we, we talk about the mayhem bump on this show. We've seen it. We don't count Ray Lynn. She got hurt like a day after she was on the show. But we don't count that. We don't count that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're talking about our good friends like Logan Shulo getting signed, Elias Sampson now into WWE The Drifter. Um, oh, there was somebody else that had a really good mayhem bump recently, too, that we we talked to on the show. Um, help, help me out. I know we've been talking about it on the group. But uh, it, it happens. It happens. We see people win championships, super indie championships after they've been on the show. But I think this might be one of the biggest of all. Our good friends supporting us with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Uh, for with uh, Damn, I figured I messed it up this week. Uh, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Slice on Broadway. Uh, locations here in Beachview on the tracks and on the Main Street in Carnegie, PA. Now, their new location 
Ready? PNC Park, the Ooh. home of the Pirates. Nice. Nice. There awesome. you go. Representing. So all those people coming in and getting a piece of Pittsburgh with the Pirates.